Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Scientific Visual is developing quality control systems to detect defects in industrial crystals. Like, for instance, your watch cover is made out of sapphire, and all the LED lighting has a component of industrial crystals. Today, we have two lines of products sold to and used by the industry, on the watch industry on one side, and then the semiconductor industry. Our scanners will detect the morphology and the position of the defects and decide if the material is worth processing. Today, the control is usually done at a very late stage of the manufacturing process, while we are moving this uh, quality control at the very beginning of the manufacturing process. The controls are usually done by manual operator. These controls are not reliable, and it varies quite a lot. So we are moving this control from manual operator in, in to the direction of artificial intelligence and completely automated process at the very early stage, therefore saving quite a lot of money. It's being boosted by deep learning systems, and we are outperforming the performance of the manual operator. We are raising today 1.8 million. We have a soft commitment of already 1.4 million in order to develop four additional market segments in which we have tangible leads on top of the two industrial segments in which we are already playing. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm excited to present you what we do at Visium. In one sentence, we develop tailored AI solutions for the world's best brands. What do we mean by this? Is that we are committed to promote and push to the industry AI solutions that have a good impact. And indeed, our mission is to democratize artificial intelligence for the good of society and businesses. We operate and we help our clients throughout the whole process of developing a machine learning product. Early on from the ideation and identifying the opportunity that a company has, to then exploring the data, confirming the feasibility of a project, further on, on developing actually the intelligence that powers our model, but then also one step further into packaging this solution in whichever ways ensures business results for our clients. This may be a REST API, or it can be a, a plugin integration into an existing software or a web app interface. And then the last step is scaling. So expanding uh, the features of the product and the geographical use of it. Our team is currently made of 35 engineers and business profiles who have demonstrated extraordinary passion and achievements. We are between Zurich and Lausanne, and our team has many inter interdisciplinary backgrounds, masters and, uh, and, and PhDs from FFL and ATH. To give you a few examples of the projects we have done, uh, in this case, we have uh, sound-based predictive maintenance solutions we have developed for Nestlé, uh, whose goal was then to help them monitor uh, the, the, the different production lines and see the status of the machines. Another example is inventory need forecasting. We've done this for numerous companies, uh, particularly in retail. Uh, the gains have been as much as 16 million per year uh, in savings. Uh, this is a time series uh, type of projects. And also we have done another, which is in computer vision, uh, to give you an example of classifying brain MRI scans um, in collaboration with the Shuv Hospital of Lausanne, where we try to infer the uh, dementia states of, of patients uh, with Parkinson and Alzheimer. Thank you. So hello, everyone. I'm Selena. Very happy to be here today presenting. I'm cheating. <laughs> so very happy to be here today presenting Neural Concept, deep learning provider for enhanced mechanical engineering. Uh, Neural Concept was founded in 2018 as a spin-off from EBFL uh, Computer Vision Lab. Uh, since then, it's growing steadily by the month. Today, we're already serving 15 happy customers across five different uh, industries. So um, if you're a mechanical design engineer, so you must be aware of the long simulation hours being a bottleneck in, your, in validating your, your design. And actually, we're here for that. Deep learning can help you with this. 
basically, by, if you train a, a network on historical simulations that you have already, then you can drastically reduce the simulation time, but you can also automatically search, space, uh, search the design space for the best design alternative. This is not only happening in our head. As you can see here, we've already broke world records in speed in Nevada last year, uh, designing the optimal uh, bike shell, as you see in this photo. So in, in trying to learn in the uh, shape space instead of the parameter space, you, uh, neural concept is already ahead of other AI engineering tools in the market. And the gap is even more prominent when speaking about the enhanced flexibility it enjoys. To, put, uh, to pay homage where it's due, please meet the people behind this work, a team of, uh, of highly skilled and motivated researchers and uh, machine learning engineers. That's it for me. If I raised your interest, if you have questions, please stop by our, our booth. I'll have a chat with you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Julien. And today I want to tell you about the company where I work, Unitate, about who we are, uh, about what we do. And first, I will start with our mission. Uh, so we have observed that a small number of uh, digital companies are now having uh, big monopolies. And as a result, all the best data scientists and engineers are now mostly working on selling ads rather than solving uh, problems that could have a real and big impact in other industries. So we see a big potential here for machine learning, and that's our core mission is to bridge this gap and help these more traditional industries also use machine learning to its full uh, potential. So we are an international crew. These are some of the places we've been uh, working at before Unitate, and we bring top level skills in machine learning, data science, and also engineering. So overall, uh, we are really a one-stop shop. So you should come to us with your toughest challenges in uh, data science and machine learning, but not only also in software and data engineering and architecture, because we really work on solutions end-to-end. Uh, -end. And these are our core values. Uh, so we want to be leaders in AI and data. This is our core mission, let's say. Uh, but also we are and want to stay an awesome place to work where uh, good technical skills can lead to quick and important impact. And finally, we are committed to engineering for good. Uh, we work pro bono on some causes that matter to us, and also we donate part of the benefits uh, every year. So if what I said sounds interesting to you, uh, this is my mail address. Please get in touch. Uh, we are present in Lausanne and also Zurich, and we are actively uh, recruiting at the moment. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Sharon. I'm the CTO and co-founder of Agrinorm. Did it ever happen to you that a fruit that looked amazing in the shop looks like this just after one day in your fridge? Um, if you wonder why, you know that uh, fruits that are often seasonal are traded and, uh, and shipped all around the world. So on average, uh, fruits sometimes uh, cross 5,000 kilometers and maybe up to a month or more before they reach your, uh, your local store. Now, naturally, throughout this journey, the quality deteriorates. But the interesting thing is that the rate in which it happens, it's unpredictable. So, for example, for farmers have to literally gamble um, to know whether their uh, precious fruit is going to survive the shipment. And a wrong bet could lead to uh, a waste uh, of the entire, uh, the entire shipment. Um, this is not the only problem. The other problem is that the quality is a very non-standardized thing along the fresh uh, supply chain, and every player has their own way of measuring their own tools. And this leads to things like pricing not reflecting quality, uh, uh, commerce only happening between um, parties that know each other, and also unfair uh, claims. Now, to solve this, Agrinorm is developing a machine learning or vision-based system to predict the evolution of quality and grade uh, quality and uh, essentially enhance the transparency throughout the supply chain. 
Now, this is uh, quite a, a challenging task, uh, no uh, long hanging fruits. Um, we have challenges like uh, learning uh, the aging, aging process based on mostly visual, but not only data. Um, we need to protect ourselves against uh, adversarial uh, setups. And of course, uh, like uh, most people, we don't have a lot of data, so we get creative with uh, transfer and, uh, and active learning. If you want to know more, please uh, come and talk to us uh, at uh, booth uh, 105. Thanks. Hello everybody, my name is Jerome and I have a simple question for you. How are you? How old are you? And what's your name? Very simple question to answer for human, but imagine if you were a boat, if, if will be a very difficult question. So why often the chatbots are very stupid? Um, first, because it can deal with the very complex dialogues. And secondly, it's because um, it's difficult to apply machine learning on AI for lack of data. And finally, 80% of the chatbot seems very stupid for the people. DeepLink is an AI uh, startup uh, providing a platform for creating a real, chat, real smart chatbot. And we use all our experience to provide one platform where you can solve all the problems you can have when you would like to develop a chatbot. On the life cycle of the project of chatbot, you have four main activities. The first one is to, is to define the answer and to define the, the data uh, uh, linked to the answer. Secondly, it's to collect the data, because now you know what you need, so you would like to collect, you would like to validate and classify it, and you would like to monitor them. And finally, you would like to train and test on the engine, on the NLU engine. And finally, you would like to publish uh, on the website, on the instant messaging, on the mobile apps. But you would like to have a return of the data production. That is the DeepLink chatbot strap suit can provide for you. All in one platform. You can do everything on one platform. Maybe you can ask, OK, but for who is this platform? This platform is, it was developed for the people who like to implement chatbot. And they can be very dif different. They can be IT providers, they can end, end customers, they can web agency and business analysts, and so on. So maybe you say, okay, Jerome, it's cool, but I don't believe you. No problem. You can test it for free. You can go on the, on the chatbot, chatbotstrap.clicking.ai. You can visit us on the booth. And of course, you can test what is a very smart chatbot on our website, deeplink.ai. Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Carlos Siller. I'm co-founder and CEO at Retin AI, and we are accelerating clinics, research, and pharmaceutical workflows. So why are we doing this? Innovation in healthcare is limited by the amount of resources and the time it takes to bring an innovation to the market. So if you're creating a new drug or if you're making a new medical device, it's going to take between 100 to 2.5 billion US dollars and five to 10 years. Okay. So so one, uh, Red and I, what we are doing is actually accelerating and optimizing some of these processes to make it a bit more affordable. And at the same time, we are providing the solutions that are going to support in the clinics. We build software tools to collect, organize, and analyze medical data, empowering healthcare professionals and patients in the process. We started by providing cutting edge solutions to identify specific pathological biomarkers linked to the development of eye diseases, but we saw that there was much more. And at the end of the day, artificial intelligence algorithms are just at the top of the uh, problem. You need to build a solution to deploy these large scale solutions. So that's the reason why we created Discovery. It's funneling information from multiple resources in the clinic and making it very easy to navigate information from different vendors and medical devices. We are one going to change uh, an old pipeline where you had multiple vendors, multiple platforms, and different sources of information, and make it much easier by having all the information in a single place. That makes it much easier also to make a decision. The business model is very simple. For private clinics, you pay as you go. So depending on the number of patients that you may have in the clinic or the number of clinical trials you would pay. And then we have like a fixed uh, cost that you would pay either as a hospital or as a pharmaceutical company. With this, I would like to finish. I thank you all for listening. And uh, if you want to know how our solutions are working, just come to our booth 108. Thank you very much.
Hello, good afternoon. My name is Penny Schiffer. I'm a co-founder of Race AI, and I'm also a venture capitalist. So believe it or not, this is one of the industries that has been mostly untouched by artificial intelligence. So uh, venture capital is still done like a long time ago. It's a very traditional industry and it's about to change. So we can see that now more and more funds want to use data, but find it's really hard to do so. So we are here to change this. So we built a solution that helps venture capital funds in finding new startups, just like you guys. Not everybody will be on Crunchbase and all the databases. So we help VC funds to find you. We help to screen so that it's easy to uh, see the ones that are uh, interesting. And we also uh, help in the decision-making process. Ah, so you can do both. You can wait and uh, you can just click. Okay. And uh, this is the really a new thing and more and more funds are doing it and are interested in having the data that can help them be better investors. <clears throat> What we are building uh, is a, a product that has several um, features. So we have already a competitive uh, search engine. We have an algorithm that can match investors to a startup. So if you want to find investors, also come talk to me. I can help you. And uh, we uh, also uh, have um, uh, the deal flow engine that can find new um, startups. So we use uh, NLP heavily for understanding what startups do. So we have built a complex model that can find similar startups. We've been tweaking it. Uh, so initially uh, it was good, but it wasn't very good. So we have been working heavily to do domain specific data science. And we are looking for a master student intern, also co-founder data scientists and early adopters and customers. So uh, if that's uh, what you're interested in, come talk to us. It's booth number 109. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Xiaomin, and I am a machine learning engineer at iProva. iProva is a startup that uses data-driven techniques to create inventions. And we do this in partnership with um, technology companies such as Panasonic, Philips, and Sony. So the traditional way of making an invention depends on chance. So maybe somebody reads something in a newspaper or they have a conversation with somebody and that sparks an idea in their head for an invention. But we think that innovation is too important to be left to chance. So instead what we do at iProva is that we make the process of invention more reliable and more systematic. And we do this by scanning through the very large amounts of information that are published every day and we use machine learning techniques to extract insights that are novel, interesting, and have high chance of sparking a good idea. So um, because timing is very important in invention, because the first to patent something gets the rights to it, by extracting information that's useful in a quick way, we're able to invent faster and more disruptively than others. Uh, and we have customers all over the world, uh, in particular Asia, Europe, and the USA. And we address a $10 billion market that's growing at 15%. So we typically work with our customers in two ways. Either we directly make inventions for them, or we license our technology to them so that they can set up their own data-driven invention lab. So far, we've created several thousand inventions, and our customers have filed about 500 patents based on these. And our patents have been cited by all 10 of the world's largest tech companies. And finally, we are hiring, so um, come talk to us at our booth if you're interested or send us an email. Thank you. To have your attention, to have your attention, to have your attention. This might seem like a silly question to ask to another human being, as by nature, humans are social animals. However, this is a process which came through evolution. During the time, we were able to distinguish between a person who pays attention to what we're saying, and if the person on the other side doesn't care, we can also sense it. However, for machines, this is much more different. Today, there's no state-of-the-art algorithm which is able to mimic the interaction that two humans can have between each other and the interaction we would have with a machine. And this is mainly due to the fact that machines are not able to, uh, to sense attention yet. And this is where our unique 3D eye tracking software comes in. The difference with current technology is that we're able to sense 
in, in a 3D space where a given person is looking at, which makes us very different from our concurrence. Our concurrence is mainly um, based on 2D screen applications in which people tend to be about 80 centimeters in front of the screen and um, there's only a single person and you need to have constant recalibration and this costs a lot of time and makes the experience difficult. Our technology enables us to track multiple person at a time in a 3D space. We don't need any calibration and um, um, it's a uh, it's a wider range. You can be very far away from the camera. Our use cases are going to having more immersive gaming, controlling your phone just simply by looking at it, and also having driver monitoring systems in which you can distinguish if a person looks at the road or if, it's, if the person is distracted. Past year, we were able to raise $2 million and to grow our team from a team of three people to a team of 20. And we all share the same vision, which is making seamless interactions between human and robots. Thank you for your attention. Hi, uh, my name's Ben. I lead the commercial team at Status, and we're building Status because it's very hard to collaborate around data. We started out um, working with a very boring boiler company who had too much money, and they thought, what's the future of, of boilers? And they said, okay, maybe we need to get involved in smart buildings. How do we share smart building data? And from smart building data, we went to all kinds of sensitive data. And the problem with sharing sensitive data right now is one, it's very hard to do legally. And if you anonymize it, the current approaches are not very good. You either lose a lot of granularity to the information or uh, you need to aggregate it to such a level where it's not really useful. What we do is we use deep neural networks to learn statistical relationships inherent in data sets and then sample from these models in a way that preserves the privacy of individuals in the data set but maintains the statistical information as much as possible in the resulting data. What this means is that companies can implement our engine in their data pipelines, which enables them to build privacy preserving machine learning or data science applications for product development, uh, innovation, data science, building data warehouses, for example. Um, and what this means is that they can do that in a way that preserves the integrity of the data but means they don't run into problems with GDPR or CCPA or HIPAA or other compliance frameworks while maintaining the ability to build products on data, share data with other countries or um, other institutions and build business relationships around this sensitive data. If you want to know more, come talk to me. Hi, my name is Sebastian Savidan, and I'm the director of Alpen Intuition. It's great that today in this room and in this building, there is so much people here um, that uh, are experts uh, in some ways in machine learning or deep learning. Most of you know the importance of data. You know how to collect it, you know how to manage it, and uh, even if you don't like it in general, you know how to clean it. But most importantly, and we've seen it with the previous speeches, most of you are experts in building awesome models. Uh, but I think we can all agree that there is one problem that we've all faced, uh, especially here as AI startups, is that it is very difficult to go from an awesome model to an awesome product. Um, how are you going to deliver it to your client? Are you going to give them something to download? Are you going to make them clone a uh, repository? Are you going to ask them to give you the data? Um, and where are you going to host these models? These are struggles we had uh, at Alpine Intuition uh, with our clients. And so we developed a tool, iSquare, that allows you to upload uh, an AI model of any kind uh, on our platform and uh, deliver it to your client as an API. Extremely easy to use, uh, only two lines of code. Any developer uh, knows how to integrate it. And behind that, uh, we've made an orchestration tool that automatically balances the load on our infrastructure uh, to maximize the throughput and the latency of the inference of the models. So 
If you like to get rid of the struggle of deploying your AI models, or if you just like to uh, improve the inference speed of your models, come meet us at our booth 113. Uh, thank you very much. Hello, everyone. So it's a pleasure to be presenting here at the AMLDs uh, and also being uh, in uh, Lausanne. Um, so I'm Dejan, and I'm a partner of uh, Humanized. I'm also a software engineer, and I'm also a data scientist. And we are one of the very few startups here today that happen to have the AI in their name. And you're probably wondering what makes us difference, and I'm trying to tell you today. But before we start, you probably want to know that we have actually hidden a small riddle in the pitch, and if you listen very carefully, you can win something if you come visit uh, us at the booth in the end. So Humanized is a company that is creating um, uh, technology for humans. And what does this mean? We really mean, with an emphasis, technology for humans. And if you have attended the great talks on Monday by uh, Max Tegmark and uh, uh, Martin Kosinski, then you have probably gotten the idea of uh, um, how AI should actually be able to benefit humans, and this is exactly what we do. So we don't want to constrain ourselves when we do this to certain fields or domains. We actually want to create a, um, a platform to share ideas that eventually lead to the creation of great new products. And uh, we are currently working in different domains such as virtual reality, education, and fintech. For example, on Monday, our co-founder Florian, he gave a speech about how education can be revolutionized by VR and AR. And if you like VR, you can come to our booth. We have an Oculus Quest for you to play with. We are also constantly looking for um, like-minded and talented people to join our growing team in uh, Zurich. Uh, we love to talk about um, machine learning, big data, and um, DevOps, and cloud. And if you feel like this sounds like you, if you're looking for a new challenge, we would be delighted to talk to you. And if this doesn't sound interesting at all, then remember the riddle I mentioned in the beginning. If you come to our booth and tell me how many and which buzzwords are used in this pitch, you can also win a nice prize. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Not always easy to be the last one before the break. I will try to be short. So let's discuss about Samurai. Samurai is, as other company, a data analytical uh, startup. Uh, no, I need to stop. Okay. <laughs> Doing consulting, developing some products, but also focusing on the knowledge transfer. In our company, all projects that we are doing, we transfer all the knowledge to the customer. It's so important for us that it's an independent stream in our company. Why are we doing that? We truly believe that in the future, some job will disappear, some job will appear, or will be created, and companies need to, need to face the new challenges, and we need to help them to do that. How? We provide training. Training to, for people, for company, to be, um, to skill up, and to be up to date with the new uh, technology and new industry. We have special uh, training, standard one, 40 hour. We have also a uh, tailor-made training for companies. And uh, we provided also academic courses for applied university. Our philosophy at Samurai is to learn. You have to get your hand dirty. So 70% of our training is coding and practice, uh, practices. We are pragmatic. We need to do real business cases to learn how it works. Our team is very versatile. We are coming from business, academy, and we have also a special uh, adult trainer to shape our training. Thank you very much for your attention. 